They said it was impossible. They said... Ah, you can't put together the most elite team of comic book reviewers on the planet and do, you know, a podcast or something like that? Despite all that, today we can proudly announce... Yeah, yeah, they were right. We, uh, we couldn't do it. So instead, we brought you the most vile, ignorant, unprofessional group of comic book enthusiasts we could find... This is Panel to Panel, the Game Rage Magazine comic podcast. Oh yeah, welcome back everyone to another episode of Panel to Panel. My name's Josh, I'm here today with good buddy Adam who is, uh... Currently indisposed, but he'll he'll be here just in just a couple seconds. But uh, today we're going to be doing the Immortal Hulk number fifteen. But before we get into that, if you want to listen to more of our stuff, you can go to YouTube, and you can go to Game Rage Magazine there. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'd appreciate it. Also, if you want to follow us on social media, you can follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Game Rage Magazine, Twitter slash X at Game Rage Mag. You can follow. Adam at All Gas No Trash Official. You can follow good buddy Frank at Anime underscore Syndicate underscore Podcast on Instagram. And uh, yeah, all right. So let's get into the episode or <laughs> to the issue. We start off with our wonderful cover here, the Immortal Hulk 15. We got Doc Sampson and we got Hulk uh, laying down on a concrete fucking uh, couch, it looks like. <laughs> Like it's all cracked and shit, and uh, Doc Samson is sitting there just like, oh, he's taking notes. Like, he's giving him a nice therapy session. And so we open up with the quote, you will never live if you are looking for the meaning of life. Albert Camus, Intuitions. God damn. And so uh, <clears throat> we get, uh, this This is basically Doc Samson fucking narrating this. Yeah. And uh, he basically says, dying was a simple, perfect moment. Modoc and the leader had split my personality into warring factions, bringing out my darkest impulses. Under their control, I'd betrayed, manipulated, even murdered my oldest friends. But when the end came, I played the hero one more time. Doc Samson sacrificed himself to save the world from evil. And then he's like, Bruce, one last thing from your doc. I believe in you. And then he melts and fucking he's just his bones left. Under the circumstances, I died the best death I could. I even got an epilogue, a dreamlike finale, or a dreamlike final adventure against the King of Chaos for the fate of the world, a triumphant farewell before the darkness. And in the darkness, I waited for what would come next. But when the door opened, it led me back to where I'd been, suddenly, magically alive again, as if nothing had ever changed. And then, fuck, man, dude, what... What if you were the guy working at this graveyard and like, this is just some dude that's like a graveyard attendant or whatever. And you just see this fucking shredded, fucking swolled up looking motherfucker just come out of a grave. Green hair. I'd be like, oh, fuck. He, he, say, he says, Lordy. And he like, he drops his shovel. I'd be like, well, I guess the zombies are coming. We're all going to fucking die now. <laughs> I mean, it's almost like you, you would expect that type of thing for superheroes in that, in that world. Yeah, like I guess If, you, if you're true. in that reality, you can at least expect, pick, it to happen. expect that possibility. And so then he says, sorry to startle you. Do you have a phone I could use? And then it goes back to the narration. I have no idea why this fucking happened. S.H.I.E.L.D. wanted to know why, too. We thought it might be the leader again, but the test showed I was free of his influence as much as his victim as I'd hurt those as, or as, those as I'd hurt, apparently. I was happy to believe that, but still, nobody could answer the larger questions. And then he's in there with, uh, what's his name, uh, Nick Fury. <coughs> and he's like, I, I just, anytime I see Nick Fury, I just, well, black Nick Fury, it's, it's Samuel L. Jackson. So, like, everything he says is in Samuel L. Jackson's voice. Motherfucker. Like, well, motherfucker, uh, maybe you went all the way dead, huh? And then he's like, uh, doesn't that happen sometimes with you motherfuckers? Like, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I suppose. Why was I alive again? What was the meaning behind it? It tormented me. And uh, he's like, I didn't tell anyone I was back at first. S.H.I.E.L.D. knew, obviously. Tony Stark, Carol Danvers, Bucky Barnes, of all people. But I never made the call to my friends. I didn't call Rick or Betty or Bruce. He was in a fragile place. 
Amadeus Cho had drained Bruce's gamma energy, curing him. He became the Hulk in Bruce's place. Bruce's reaction had been strange. Tony said he seemed fine, but I debated going to see him, confronting him the way nobody else wanted to. But I remembered my Jung. The analyst's hands must be as clean as the surgeon's. The doctor-patient relationship is a mutual journey where each affects the other. And what was I now? Not a healer, a dead man. Groping through a world suddenly without light, searching for a single flickering flame. <laughs> and uh, he's listening to Leonard Cohen's Songs of Love and Hate. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> to approach my most volatile patient while I was so unsure of myself, of everything, it was unthinkable. And then he's sitting there watching TV and they're like, we interrupt this program because I'm breaking news. And then he says, and then it was too late. And that's when you know, all the reports started coming back. And he says, but still, I couldn't show my face. Not until after the second death. And he goes to the graveyard and he says, Betty. And she's like, Samson, you know who I work with now? Is this some trick of Modox? And he's like, no, 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 listen, it's not, it's not. Listen, S.H.I.E.L.D. ran the test. I'm myself again, Betty. I, I was staying away, but... I heard the news about Rick, and we see Rick Jones's fucking our our good friend dead. And she says, "Hey, uh, you want to get coffee?" And so they go back, and he says, "There was no attraction left between us, if there ever had been, just a mutual exhaustion, the need for a friend, someone who understood, that shared uneasy knowledge, that there was a time when you were gone, but now you're back again, and you don't know why." And so then now we cut back to the Hulk, the, the current modern what's happening right now. Uh, Hulk fucking uh, brain starting to uh, reassimilate after that thousand caliber fucking round went through his fucking dome. Polished his brains. <laughs> and so he says, uh, when the Hulk sightings began, Betty wouldn't believe it. Not so much that Bruce was alive, but that he wouldn't call, that he'd choose to hide from her. But I knew how easy it was to hide, I believed. And so he says, all right, Bruce. And then it says, I wanted to believe. Hell, he'll know, he'll know, I thought, if anyone while he will, if anyone will know, he will. He'll know why we're still here. And he says, let's reason this out, shall we? And it's just like he's like, oh my god, like he's got half of his brain his starting to come back. Brain's missing. And so then uh he's like, you know, it, this is pretty funny that he says there's an irony, he's trying to reach your mind, but it's gotta grow back first because it's like gone. And uh he says, uh, <laughs> fucking agent, the agent Burbank, he's running away. This is agent Burbank calling shadow base. Uh, get me the hell out of here now, please. And, uh, he's like, he basically saved his life. Yeah, he, he did. Without, he didn't even thank him. Like he just left. He yeah. Just bitched out. And then he says, uh, well, uh, and then Hulk's like, smash, smash. Uh, I believe the word is smash, Hulk. And, uh, <laughs> it's like you try to sound like when you're talking to a kid. Yeah. You're like smash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You try to like guide them. Right, yeah. And he's like, listen, you're the Hulk and you smash. Try to remember. Then maybe you'll remember I'm on your side. And then the Hulk grabs his arm and just fucking, fucking swings, swings him over. Slams him. And he yells out smash. Hulk smash. Smash green hair. He's like, Samson, lettered Samson, you know me, I'm your therapist. And then he says, and you're acting out, Hulk, you're smarter than this. And then he just, Hulk just like, Sam, son. And then you see his, the holes starting to get smaller in his fucking brain. He said, that's it. Remember who you are, where you are. It's Betty's place. Where's Betty, Hulk? But Betty, the, the plastic man? He hurt Betty? And then Samson's like, what? He's like, oh, Hulk, Hulk has to... Hulk has to go back in now. He says, Hulk, tell me, tell me what happened or so help me. And then he, now he's like back to like double Hulk basically. And he's like, uh, she got shot is what happened. Through the head, sniper fire from your cyborg. The one you stopped me from taking apart. Happy. And he's like, Betty's dead. And then they go, and then they go into the thing and they see the blood, but her body's out there. And he's like, Betty's not dead. And he's like, well, she's not here. He's like, well, I guess she must have went that way while we were busy. Uh, I knew Banner, her seeing her was a bad idea. And so uh, Samson asks Hulk what his relationship with Banner is. And he's like, we don't, we don't talk, man. Not at least in words. And Hulk goes on to explain basically like all this got worse. Um, Banner's life was crazy. And he's like, it got worse after while you were gone. Nobody... 
wanted to see it, but he was just broken and he set up his own murder and, you know, all that did was break him more and then you see the Avengers fucking pummeling, you know, the Hulk. Beating the shit out of him. Yeah. So there was a Hulk that came out to work for Hydra, you know that? Just a big ball of rage and nothing else. A wordless thing that didn't care who it hurt. That people didn't, or that didn't see people at all. And then Samson's like, good God almighty. And he's like, yeah, your worst nightmare, right? And he's like, oh, don't worry. I took care of this. That thing's in pieces. I locked it away where I used to be. As long as I'm around, he's never getting out. First thing I did when Banner let me loose, somebody had to take charge. And he's like, oh, is that you? And he's like, which Hulk are you? Are you? And he's like, oh, he needed a dad or something, something like a dad. Like a dad who loved him. But he didn't know what love was. I can't be out in the day. I don't come out unless I have to, unless, you know, somebody hurts him. Then I take it personal. And uh, the Hulk's like, what, what is this anyway? A couch session? Are we like, are we doing fucking therapy right now? And he's like, I don't know. Maybe, man. Let's talk about being, let's talk about being let loose and locked away. Bruce mentioned a persona like that once. A Hulk he had to actively lock away in his mind. A devil Hulk. A demonic, satanic personality that he kept cage inside him. Bruce at his angriest, his most inhuman, his most merciless. My darling little boy. And it's like, uh, it's like this devil Hulk. He looks like the fucking monster from the Black Lagoon or whatever. And he's just like, oh, my darling little boy. Breaking my chains, darling. Break my chains, little boy. Set me free and I will destroy it all. And all for you. A Hulk who, if he ever got out, would be the end of the world. Tony Stark told me about, or told me about when you fought him, the name you responded to. Are you the Devil Hulk? What? You only just figured that out. Come on. If we're com- if you're coming, we got somewhere to be. And then the Hulk just fucking jumps and they fucking go. You're a shrink, Samson. You know about projection. Deep down inside, he's still that kid, a little kid who can't imagine love without pain. He got scared of me when I was, or what I was, what I brought out of him. Figured he couldn't listen to me. Suddenly, I'm a big snake guy, and everything I say comes out creepy. I blame Sunday school. Well, I've still got questions, Hulk. There are things I need to know. But I am glad you're not here to end the world. <laughs> and Hulk's like, oh, you see, that's the funny thing. That's exactly what I'm here to fucking do. The human world's got to go. And so... I'll, I'll summarize this. Yeah, summarize it. There you go. All right, because his, his theory is like, I need to be this force of reckoning otherwise if i don't do this shit set it set everything right then as opposed to everybody dying with me taking charge it'll only be some people some people yeah and so he says uh basically what you're saying is you're yeah, you're, you're just the green hulk then and then he's like ah, you think this is funny bitch <laughs> <clears throat> I think seeing a larger picture is a step forward for you, but I'm concerned about, you know, and he's like, shut up, Samson, we're here. He's like, what do you, what do you think, Betty's here? And he's like, uh, bitch, we ain't looking for Betty. Like, what the fuck do you think we're doing here? Uh, she shrugs off a bullet through the ba- brain. Man, I think she could take care of herself. And Samson says, what? Hulk, we don't know that. And he says, we don't know if she's alive. And Hulk says, I do. And so do you. Think about it. Banner watched you die, but here you are, larger's li- large as life. You're part of the club, Samson, just like Betty. You and her and me and him. And then he looks at the thing and goes, oh, and he's like, so why does this keep happening to us, Hulk? Why are we here? And he says, don't ask me. And he, it's Rick Jones, and the grave is fucking open and empty like he fucking came back or whatever. Yeah, he came through the green door. Came back through the green door and then we get the end of the F issue the the holy or the broken and uh, we get the preview for the next one where we have uh, Rick Jones fucking sitting in front of his thing playing the harmonica and the moon in the background and the Hulk's face on I mean, That's a cool little fucking image right there. Yeah. But, just, uh, just to clarify myself, he yeah. was saying that humanity's at its limits by Provoking all these wars and climate change and all this shit. He's like, man, maybe if I fucking fix this myself, maybe so many people won't fucking die with all the bullshit that's going yeah. on in the world. Yeah. He's trying to be noble, kind of, I guess. He's like a noble. So if he's going to be the world breaker or the world yeah. ender, it's like, okay. Well, at least maybe if I do it, some people will live. Like, you know, whereas uh, when Thanos does it or somebody other asshole, he'll just kill everybody or whatever, you know. So anyways, all right. That was a pretty good, that was a pretty good one. That was a little, you know... 
It's a, it's I a, think that was the weakest of the of the books we've read uh, today. Or yeah, we, we're, it's we're a, I mean, but I mean, it's there, it's exposition to get us to the next plot point, thing. basically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck, man. If I if I had to throw my two cents in, I thought the Darth Vader one was probably the fucking weakest for me. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, you're probably right about that. But uh, <coughs> it was them two for sure. Like, these two for yeah. yeah. Yeah, V for Vendetta, the last one, and then Daredevil are much, which will, you know, go listen to Daredevil next, because that's on the docket right now. Anyways, you got anything else uh, for this one? Uh, no, now we're seeing that pretty much that anybody that is uh, gamma irradiated can come superpower back. Can, is now, now has the ability to come back as Rick Jones was in hell, and uh, <coughs> now he's back on Earth. What will happen? I don't fucking know. That's, I guess that's why we keep reading. So uh, I guess that's the end of the fucking episode, and we'll have Indeed. Daredevil number fifteen on the way for you if you're interested in that. Uh, I think this is probably my favorite issue of the four things that we've read. The well, Daredevil. I've already read V for Vendetta. I've you know I've read yeah, it like yeah, a thousand yeah. times over, but of things that I haven't, this thing is fucking yeah Daredevil. So check out the bang, next Daredevil, one, but Daredevil fifteen. But anyways, all right. So that's it for us. Uh, if you want to listen to more of our stuff, we. Uh, Demand that you go to YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Game Rage Magazine, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you want to follow us on Instagram and TikTok, at Game Rage Magazine, Twitter slash X, at Game Rage Mag. Follow Adam at All Gas, No Trash Official, and you can follow Frank at Anime underscore Syndicate underscore Podcast on Instagram. And uh, that's it for us. Catch you on the next one. That was Panel to Panel, the Game Rage Magazine comic book podcast. Thanks for listening. If you want to know more and follow along, go to Instagram and TikTok. Follow at Game Rage Magazine. If you want to follow on Twitter slash X, at Game Rage Mag. Tune in next time.